Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a quick walkthrough video of how to change out the blades on your Sheep Clippers uh, from the brand Sheep Shear Pro. So I got these off of Amazon. I think that company is out of Australia, uh, but these are on Amazon. Sheep Shear Pro is the brand. They've been really good, very sturdy, uh, very well built, but I was reading some of the comments on the Amazon listing where people were basically saying that they had trouble with the blades or that the blades fell apart. And I thought maybe if I did this video, it would help you as far as uh, walking you through how the blades are set up and actually how they work. Uh, they can come apart depending on how you have them set, but it's not that they're broken. It's just a matter of uh, putting them back together and then knowing why they came apart. So uh, just a couple basics. The Sheep Shear Pros have a tension knob down here. They can basically loosen or tighten. I'm going to go ahead and just take it off. If you get it too loose, it can come off. But that's not a big deal it's greased and you just screw it back on they also have a long cutting blade this is pretty standard with most uh, sheep clippers out there you've got a long cutting blade you've got a smaller cutting blade and then you've got an arm that attaches to the smaller cutting blade and moves back and forth to the left or right so what happens sometimes i'm gonna go ahead and just make sure the tension arm is fairly tight so the reason there's a tension arm is depending on what animal you're shearing, you might need the blades tighter or more loose uh, between the cutting blade and the long blade. And that's what this tension knob gives you the ability to do. I'll cut it on. So you can get a gist of how it works. Well, if you have this too loose, I'll try and do it here. I don't know where this is gonna fly off to. But if you have the tension knob too loose and you turn it on, See what happened there? The small cutting blade went flying off. And that's what a lot of the comments I was reading were saying was, hey, the blades came apart. Well, the blades came apart because your arm is too loose and it can't hold the cutting blade against the long blade. So it's not that it's broke, it's just a matter of, hey, you need to put it back on. The way I do it, the way I think is the easiest way to do it, is just make sure your tension knob is as loose as you can get. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a little bit of play in this arm here. That's why they came off to begin with. When you look at the small blade, you're gonna see there's a couple different sets of holes. The ones that you're mostly gonna be interested in, to me, are these two smaller ones up at the top. Because if you can line those up on this arm, the bottom blade should also line up with the bottom blade on this arm. So all I'm gonna do here, now these are blades, so you do wanna be kinda of careful as far as how you're, you're holding them. But I'm going to use one finger and just pull this arm back a little bit. I'm going to slide this cutting blade, the small blade, back underneath the arm. And I'm going to line up those small holes I was mentioning before. Oop, I don't have that one lined up. The small hole with the top hole on the arm. And once I've got that lined up, You'll notice that the bottom tooth from the arm, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, is also lined up with the bottom hole on the cutting blade. Once they're lined up with just a little bit of pressure to hold it down, just tighten your tension knob. And again, you don't have to go uh, totally tight, but once you've got it tight enough to where the arm can hold down the blade, you're back in business and ready to cut. So that's all you have to do if the, if the small blade comes, comes off. It's really very easy to put it back on. The one thing I will mention though, is this company gives you replacement blades. So in the event that you ever need to change out your blades, or maybe you don't need to change them out, but you wanna take all the blades off, maybe clean them, sharpen them, something like that. They give you this tool. You can take everything apart completely and put it back together pretty quick. And I'll show you that right now. So this tool has two different ends. This end I've never really used, but it's basically to take the screw off here if you, want to, if you needed to take the whole mechanism off for some reason. I've never had to do that. So I'm just gonna use this end of the tool. And you'll see that it fits into these long screws on the back side of the long cutting blade. And all I'm gonna do is take those screws out. And once you do that, the long blade comes off, the small blading, cutting blade is going to come off because uh, 
the arm up here can no longer hold it against the long blade. The one thing I will mention is there's a couple black washers, but just drop one of them. And what they do is they connect to this long screw and they stay in between this long blade here. They basically help the blade uh, stay tight against the, the housing of the, where the motor is. So you'll want to make sure you don't lose those. When you put it back on, I'll show you all that in a minute, you're going to want to make sure that these things are back in place. Like so. And so that's it. Uh, if you needed to, there's a couple little screws back here as well that allow you to take this whole black piece off. off. That's what holds the arm that moves back and forth. So if you needed to clean uh, hair out of there or something like that, you can just use a Phillips screwdriver, take those out. This whole piece will come off. But I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to go ahead and put the blades back on there. So like I said, you'll want to make sure that the black washers are in place. You'll want to have the name towards the outside. And all you're going to do is line up the holes. Like so. And I always just put a little bit of pressure on there just to hold it, hold the long blade down. And now start screwing. And that black piece can kind of move sometimes, but if it does, that's not going to hurt anything. Once it starts tightening, it, it'll usually get back in place. Or, like in that case, you can just pull it out, stick it back in. You're going to know whether or not that black washer is in place or not. So I've got one started, grab the second screw, same thing, put a little bit of pressure on it, push down and start screwing, and then as, as I mentioned before, I'm going to use the tool that they give you, tighten it down pretty good. So the other thing that they give you is some oil for your blades. And you really want to oil your blades uh, pretty much in between every cutting. It's just going to give you a smoother cut and it's going to keep that metal um, from rubbing against metal against metal. So uh, I think this company actually sells additional oil on their site. This has lasted me for a while that comes with it, but uh, in between cuts I'll usually oil up the blade. So I've got my long screws tight. I'm going to do just like I showed you before. I'll lay it over, make sure that the tension knob is pretty loose so that I've got a little bit of play on this arm here. Take the blade, the small blade. I'll pull the tension arm back a little bit, just far enough to where I can slide the small blade underneath. I'm going to line up the four holes that match the arm that's going to move back and forth. And once I've got those in place, I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on it. Oh. Now they're in place. Put a little bit of pressure on the arm. Tighten my tension knob back up. I'm ready to cut. So anyway, that's just a quick walkthrough video of how to troubleshoot the blades, change out the blades on your Sheep Shear Pro sheep clippers. I hope this helps. Let me know if you got any questions. Thanks.